So we traveled to Charleston, South Carolina, and my understanding that's uh, one the number one spot to visit uh, in the United States. Um, so it's about two hours away from Columbia, and we had a good time. Yeah, they have uh, lots of uh, fun things to see and do, a lot of history, a lot of good food, beaches, cities right there on the water. So in this video, we are going to talk about Charleston, South Carolina, and look at a little bit of the history of the city, as well as the International African American Museum that just opened this year that is located there. So I'm Donna. And I'm Will. And this is Journey with Donna and Will. So Charleston is a historical city. And so what we first want to do is go over some of the history of Charleston, South Carolina. The original name of Charleston was Charlestown for King Charles II, established in the late 1600s. 40% of the kidnapped Africans who were enslaved in North America came through the ports of Charleston. Many of these Africans, referred to as Gullah Geechee, were from the Rice Coast of West Africa. And that was Charleston's how he, they grew their wealth, through exporting rice and later cotton. In 1817, Emmanuel AME Church, also known as Mother Emmanuel, was founded. And the International African American Museum is located on Gasden Wharf, the prolific transatlantic slave trade port. Uh, one of the things that I remember about uh, Charleston is, you know, we did the 40 acres and a mule and um, the land that had initially been allocated started at Charleston, South Carolina and went down to Florida. They also had the uh, Stono Rebellion, I think was close to Charleston. So one thing I liked about uh, Charleston was, was the food, um, especially the seafood, to Hannibal's. Um, do you remember uh, yeah. eating there? Yeah, very good food there. I think, believe it was African-American owned uh, restaurant. And I think I had uh, salmon and sausage and rice. Very tasty dish, very yeah. tasty. I had the shrimp. It was uh, these big shrimps. I mean, they were very meaty, um, the shrimp. And I did like the uh, yams that they had. And they had artwork um, all over the restaurant. Yeah. So that was Hannibal's. Yeah, another place, yeah. we Southern cooking, you know, was very good down there. Mm -hmm. The other place we went to was Nigel's uh, Good Food Restaurant. Yeah. So Nigel really, uh, yeah, he did a good job, excellent job. And uh, we, we have... Uh, I knew we had cornbread and... We uh, had chicken, collards, uh, mm, yeah. macaroni and cheese, yeah. and, and more yams. But it was uh, very good. Right. The seafood, you know, was very, um, I think, just because they're real close to the water and everything. Just, um, it, was it was very fresh and, and tasty. So I, I enjoyed... Uh, those were just two of the restaurants we went to, uh, Hannibal and... Uh, Nigel. Yeah, so if so. you go to Charleston, yeah, those are two. Put places those on your list <laughs> to visit. Okay, we went to the city market. Yeah, and... city market was a good place if you're just looking for souvenirs, or t-shirts, or pictures, or art to bring mm -hmm. back and share with your family. Yeah, we picked up uh, some artwork um, that was what was that was very nice. Uh, the other thing, there's a lot of. Uh, Horse and uh, buggies yeah, there. Horse, yeah, it's a pretty interesting, lively town. Yeah, you see people all over the place on um, horses and carriages. Right. Get a little ride towards the downtown. And uh, yeah, very, yeah. Very, people are very friendly wherever you go. Yeah. And the, the houses, the houses are very historical. They're kind of like those box houses, you know, of, of old. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're very expensive. Um, but, you know, it's just the atmosphere that's down there. Yeah, the like wind. most cities in, in, right now in, in, in the U.S., there's a lot of re redevelopment going on in the cities. So you see a lot of houses under construction, a lot of scaffolding everywhere. 
Another interesting uh, piece of history while we were walking down King Street was we saw the, the marker or the plaque there that um, commemorated the um, sit-ins, the student sit-ins, uh, 19, April 1960. Uh, there were students that uh, sat in at the restaurants at the um, Crest Company, I believe Woolworth and uh, Grant, Grant stores. So that was very interesting to see that as we were walking through the town there. yeah to, to see that plaque there that was that was very interesting the Emanuel um, that you mentioned the Emanuel AME Church is very close to the uh, International um, African American Museum I mean it was you know less than a mile I believe yeah, a couple yeah, of blocks up from there so that was interesting um, of course you know that that was uh, the second AME Church after the one in Philadelphia that I believe Richard Allen started. So the one of the main reasons I wanted to go to um, Charleston, South Carolina, is because they just opened up the International African American Museum. So we'll take a look at the International African American Museum in our next video.